Here we have a question that states that the magnetic flux running through a coil of wires with 300 turns is changing from a positive value of 5 Webers to a negative value of 10 Webers. It takes 0 0.050 seconds to do this, to make this change. And we know that whenever we change the flux, which is measured in Webers, we induce an EMF. And the goal is to figure out what is the value of that induced EMF. Let's imagine this in the following diagram. Here the red represents our coils, our 300 turns. I've shown three here, but you can imagine 300 turns just looks a little bit more dense. If we imagine that the magnetic field is positive and positive is up, our five Weber initial magnetic field might be these green arrows upwards. So in other words, there might be a north pole down below and a south pole up top to create this magnetic field. So our initial flux is positive 5 Webers. Our final flux is negative. What does this look like? Well, the arrows have to flip direction. Flux is, in fact, a vector quantity. So if I look at this, we will get the following. So I get field lines that are not only changing direction, but far more dense. They're larger and they've changed direction. So hence the negative 10.0 Webers. Now the goal is to determine the induced EMF. So my given information I've listed off on the right hand side. N is 300 turns, our initial flux is positive 5 Webers, final flux is negative 10 Webers. Time it takes to change that value is 0 0.050 seconds. What is the induced EMF? Well we know what our equation looks like. Our equation is simply as follows. Our EMF is simply the number of turns times the change in flux divided by time. The negative just represents the fact that it's Lenz's law in place and it'll oppose any change in flux. So it's not super important, we just have to know what it means. So now, if we put in the values, I get negative 300. Change in anything is always final minus initial, so it's minus 10.0 Weber's minus 5.0 Webers, all divided by 0 0.050 seconds, and we end up getting our answer. Now notice the top, the change in flux, when I go minus 10, minus 5, I get a change in flux of minus 15. If you were unaware of the change in direction here, you might assume that your change in flux is simply 5. But imagine that on a number line. It's going from positive 5 all the way down to negative 10. That's a change of 15 units, not 5. So we've got to be careful with questions like this. What is our final answer? Our final answer, it turns out, is 90,000 volts. Or 9.0 times 10 to the 4 volts.